The basketball team has just found ways to win early on this season, whether it be against nearby Covenant, on the road at Louisville, or back at home against Bellarmine. On Sunday, their homestand continued against in-state opponent Tennessee Tech. Nothing better than Sundays at the Roundhouse, am I right? The Golden Eagles get off to an early start thanks to this man, David Early, and a couple of his buckets. Jan Zedek has been impressive in his first season with the Blue and Golds. He ties this game up at six, one of his four triples of the day. He finishes with 18 points. Tech gained some steam offensively throughout the first half. They lead by five at the break. Rodney Johnson Jr. had a team high 18 points. Josiah Davis trying to extend the Golden Eagles lead, but he's denied by Sam Alexis. Three blocks for the sophomore. He does it on defense. And he does it on offense as well. Gets the end one to even the score at 39 with under 16 minutes to play. How about Honor Huff? This guy finally gets to be on the court after being forced to sit out in 2022. He gets red hot down the stretch. 16 points for him. Moxley for less than six minutes of this game. But it's enough. Huff, Zedek, Alexis lift the team to victory. A combined 56 points for the trio helps Chattanooga win their fourth straight game. In the past, it came down to, hey, if we make some shots, maybe we can win. If we miss them, uh, maybe not. And uh, so I think there's something good there on the defensive side of the ball. So, And I just want to figure out our offense uh, sooner rather than later, obviously. I can't even put it to words. It just feels, it just a finally feeling. You know, I, I didn't hit a shot at home for the first two games we were home. So that, you know, I'm a shooter. So being a shooter, not making shots, 0 for 11, it hurts. So being able to see one go through just was like, okay, got the top off the lid. Come on, let's go. A 4-0 start first time since 2021 when the team won the SOCON. The Mox will be back in action on Friday against Evansville in the Coke Zero Sugar Classic.